Hello YouTube, this is Stan McStuds of Fruit of Boredom, and today we are going to do a LEGO review. First one I've done in a while now, like back when I was known as Zaxterfall on that other channel, which nobody really paid attention to, but that's okay. Anyway, this is a 2013 LEGO set review of LEGO Galaxy Squad set number 70701. That's five letters now. Nice. Which means LEGO's made enough to do that. Uh, the Swarm Interceptor. So here's the box, first of all. I always do the box. Uh, got 218 pieces. This is $25 Canadian, which would be roughly $20 American. So, you know, you got about 10 cents per piece, practically. So that's pretty good, I guess. Like, that's good compared to nowadays. Like, if you get a Star Wars set, it only has 300 pieces, and oh, well, it's like 70, 80 bucks. True story. At least in Canadian dollars. I don't know about the rest of you guys. Anyway, so we got some pretty cool inspirational art. Not inspirational art, like box art. Pretty good. Splits there. Actual size instead of just the minifigures. It's the gun that's actual size. It's weird. The char uh, the minifigures. The side. Another languages for the North American version. Don't know about Europeans. I don't know what they do. What they have. Uh, on the back, more showing off what it can do. It can split. It can split into a speedy interceptor, a uh, missile turret. I'm guessing, yeah. Uh, a little bit there of the character shooting the bad guy, whatever. Again, the alien bugoid or whatever the heck it's called. I don't know. I don't pay attention to the websites anymore. I want you to go to Lego.com Galaxy Squad. Okay, whatever. So, here's the instruction manual, which is pretty thick for a $25, $20 set, whatever, depending on where you go. Uh, as for most 2013 sets, I think now they have uh, now they have a different way of organizing your stuff. Like, they actually show a little minifigure. So we got Lego Seption here. We got a Lego figure building a Lego set. So that means, uh, yeah, um... Yeah, it's Legoception. There we go. Uh, some da -da -da, da -da -da. Um, he shows up randomly on the top right corner of some pages. I don't know why. I don't know the logic of that. See, there he is. There he was again. There he is again. And so on and so forth. I don't know the pattern to that. Like, I don't know what what there's a point. If somebody has a point of that, let me know. I don't see any coherent pa pattern. So yeah, yada yada yada. The crappy flick fire missiles. Don't shoot yourself in the face, cause that will hurt. Although I don't think anybody can have really good aim with the flick fire missiles. Pieces. Let us like go on to Lego.com slash Galaxy Squad. Oh look, there's an app for that now. Yada yada yada. The other sets. Uh, I wanted to do a review of this set as well. Like the this one, I can tell what will work really well with the swarm interceptor. Oh yeah. So, I don't know. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Win, which I don't think really is a win. Yeah. So here's the meat of this. This is the actual set itself. This is what you've really been waiting for. So we got the spaceship here. Got the alien bugoid. I like to call this a scout vehicle because, you know, it looks like a scout vehicle. It's the smallest of the alien bugoid sets. Like, vehicles. It's pretty cool. Uh... Swarm Interceptor. This thing is really cool. I'm not gonna lie. This is pretty. This is pretty awesome compared to last year's um, last year's Ninjago set. It, they, it has similarities, but you can tell this. I mean, this looks a lot cooler than Jay's Ninja Jet or whatever the heck it was called. Lightning Jet. I don't know. It's like you get from here, there, and back in ten seconds flat. <clears throat> anyway, enough of the brownie references. It's pretty cool. Like you turn around, it actually moves. Like it's more or less like gra more or less gravity works for it. it's really awesome um on the back what i the only thing i don't like is it looks terrible from the back because you can tell the wings are lower than everything else so it kind of looks meh but other than that it's perfectly fine got some guns in the front got some guns on the side more guns 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 uh hidden hidden missile thing that's pretty cool. You can even try to fit an astromech droid in there if you're a Star Wars fan, which I'm not really. 
a uh, little bit of blue here and there. What I don't like about this set is that it follows the color scheme of the Alien Conquest humans. Like, the helmet's the same, some of the colors are the same. I don't really like it because it kind of reminds me of it. When I know it's not, this is like more science fiction-y than that. It's like no alien invasion. They're actually in some galaxy somewhere. I don't know. Anyway, these um, let's split. Let's split it because I want you to split it. I guess it's like I guess that's encouraging like kids to take apart their sets now. So it's, it's cool. Anyway, this I feel like this was kind of tacked on the split the split function for this. It feels really like tacked on because I mean, really nobody. Okay, this, this ship looks okay, but, like, alone, but really, it's, eh. Well, back here, you can really tell it was just tacked on. I don't know who designed this set, but you, you can just tell. Like, they just added foldy, foldy wings. It doesn't even, like, I'd rather if the studs were on, the studs were on top here instead of on the bottom if it's standing like this. And then, you know, Pew pew. Got the jet engines back there. It's okay. It kind of reminds me of Transformers. You know, like the split. You know, the, the G1 Transformers that would split apart and stuff. It's pretty cool. Anyway, bring that back together. This is a really nice looking set, in my opinion. Like, it's got some good pieces. Good pieces for your money. And, yeah. Got... You can do a barrel roll. It's just more. Or less, it's a really sweet looking set. Got a, got some good pieces. Like I have a few pieces I've never had before. Like they have this new this new windshield that they changed a couple times now. So now it's just it has a pin connector built like right on. So you don't need to get you don't need to. It's not just solid brick. Like you can actually connect to a, one of those clip on thingies. I don't know what they're called. I don't know the official name. Uh, got some more round pieces which came out last year, like round flat pieces. I think these are the smallest pieces now, next to the what some people call the pip, which would be like this piece right here. Like now, it's this, this piece is the absolute smallest. So yeah, Swarm Interceptor. I'd give the, I'd recommend this for any space fan. Like this is a really nice set. If you can get all the Galaxy Squad sets, I'd strongly recommend. Like these are really good space sets. And I actually plan on getting as many of these as possible. So yeah, not like I said, not much to say about this guy. It's just basically saying, oh yeah, they got the bad guy on there too. But he's the odds are not in his favor. He's gonna get blown up or splatted or whatever they do with the bugs. So yeah, if I had to rate this, I'd give it a eight and a half, or maybe even a not eight and a half, maybe even a nine. Because if you think about it, piece to price ratio is really good. I know the brick shows into that, but I'm not the brick show. I'm some other guy. Um, it's got figures. It's okay. Like a really good value for like if you if you're into, if you're into mocking, there's a lot of really good mock pieces. And yeah, so there we go. Next time I will be actually pretty soon. I'll be also doing a Star Wars set, believe it or not. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching.